Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about the book, The Mind Gut Connection. This is a book that I got because I've heard it mentioned in several other really good books on health and fitness. That being said, I wish that I had just listened to the other books on health and fitness and not bothered to get this book. There's a couple of reasons for that. A couple of reasons why the book just didn't do it for me. And let me say up front, if you're the type of person who really geeks out on the science, you'll probably really enjoy this book. I'm not the type of person who geeks out on the science. I'm the type of person who wants, you know, I, I like the science. I want a bit of the science, but I want it interspersed with stories and interspersed with humor and what I'm really looking for is advice on how I can do things differently better how I can improve myself and my circumstances this book doesn't have any humorous stories at all the stories that this book has are all like the rest of the book. Very dry. This book reads like I would expect a, a doctoral student's graduate thesis to read. Very dry. Just the facts. Nothing but the facts. And there's a lot of facts. There's a lot of information. I'm not saying that I didn't learn a lot from this book. I learned a ton from this book. Even with the reference that the other books that I had listened to made to this book, where, where they'd taken bits of the book. Well, according to this book, you learn this, and according to this, you learn this. So th there's parts of the book that I'd already learned from other books. Even with that, I still learned a lot more. But I really battled paying attention. It, it, if if the book had been able to grab me and hold me better, I probably would have learned even more. The, the second really big problem I had with this book was the narrator. The narrator was a terrible choice. I'm sorry. I apologize to the narrator. I don't mean to insult you, but the, the narrator emphasizes almost every single word that the narrator pronounces as the narrator is reading. So you not only have this very dry, okay, I can't even continue to do that. You not only have this very dry scientific book, you have it being read by someone who at his best sounds like he's doing a poor imitation of Captain Kirk. You know, there. anytime there's a satire of Captain Kirk, they have Captain Kirk going, Scotty, beam me up, and pausing after like every single word. That's almost every single word he, he, he pauses and, and emphasizes pretty much every single word. At his worst, he sounds robotic. It, it sounds like you are listening to an automated voice quite often. And so I had this real problem with this book to where I'd be listening and I'd start off and I'd be listening and I'd pay, be paying attention. And then all of a sudden I'd realize I have no clue what the author's been talking about for the last who knows how long because I don't even know how long I've been zoning out here. So then you start, okay, back 30 seconds, back 30 seconds, back 30 seconds, back 30 Okay, there it is. I recognize that. Now I'm going to pay attention some more. I lost it again. Back up, back up, back up. Try paying attention. I lost. You know what? Forget about it. I'm just going to keep going from here and whatever I missed, I missed. Or just, yeah, okay, let's shut it off and let's go to another book. The book took me longer to get through than it should have taken me to get through because I could literally only give it five, ten minutes of my attention at a time before my mind would start wandering to something else. And it was a combination of that the way the book is written 
in the narrator. The information as far as useful, something, you know, that I can take today and make a change today to impact my life today didn't really get into that until the very end of the book. I mean, you got to get three quarters of the way through this book before it goes from from sounding like a, a, a lecture, a, a very scientific, take a whole lot of notes because you're going to be tested kind of a lecture to, okay, here's some practical stuff I can use. And then the practical, useful information. Uh, okay, nothing new. Nothing unexpected, nothing surprising. The author loves the Mediterranean diet, wants us all to follow the Mediterranean diet, wants us all to buy organic, locally produced fruits and vegetables, avoid processed meats and processed foods, just stuff that that has come from every single book Re really the the only informative part of the book is the part that is actually you know the the scientific learning about how your your digestive system has its own mind that that works separately from your brain how how the two communicate with each other and and you know one sends signals a, a lot more than the other one sends signals and just I, I, honestly the amount of information is truly phenomenal if you are the kind of person who geeks out on the science you'll love this book provided you can get past the very poor narration and the narration is really poorly done if you like my channel if you love audiobooks like i do please subscribe turn on notifications if you like this video hit the like button if you have any questions comments feedback send them in my direction but most importantly no matter what else you do today make sure that today you listen to at least one really good book and i'm sorry to say this but i do not recommend this book have a nice day